Hmm. It's like they stored all the spoils here. And more mirrors. A mirror of blackest glass. Let's have a look. The unwholesome murk clears. To reveal more unwholesome murk, as if the mirror is lying forgotten at the bottom of a well. I mean, it would be good if someone actually ended the corporation. Rotten hat. The rotten stuff doesn't give us more memory, so we don't need them. Letter from Winnigo. And an intercepted missive. An Isvale's missive. Let's read all those letters. Letter from Wendigo. My lords, I do detest excuses, but I find myself in a difficult position. At every turn, the God War couldn't have stood in my way. Each time I think it's finally over, they return in you. As much as you must doubt me, I've begun to doubt even myself. Please, do not give up on me. Not yet. Your faithful servant, Wendigo. Which is kind of funny. I mean, she appeared before us in you. Not we did. Interceptive missive. Ah, esteemed ones. If worst come to worst, the houses will soon war with each other, or falls into place like autumn follows summers. The plan proceeds apace, and I can now assure you that the Empire shall crumble from within should our attempts to stop the Red Prophecy fail. Yours, the Prince of Shadows. Yeah, and as you can hear from that, he wants to uh, stop the Red Prophecy, but with the Red Prince gone, no more Red Prophecy. Is Bale's missive? Yes. There is no reason to doubt the Peacemaker's crew or Loha's loyalty. The shipment to Arx is in no danger, and I think you will find three dozen barrels of Death Fog to be more than sufficient for your needs. Queen Justinia has yet to question our actions. She's proven an unknowing and successful puppet for our master. Isbeal. It's very interesting, so someone is puppeteering Queen Justinia. And I think Beast already told us about someone called Isbeal, like an advisor who's kind of bad influence. Holy coyote. Mm -hmm. The Black Ring's operating from right inside Justinia's court. Their spy's been bending her ear, driving the strife. She ain't just working for her own gain, but for theirs. I mean, still, she's like an adult woman. She's like responsible for her own things, right? So I definitely wouldn't say four. So, what do you intend to do? Shade? No idea. <laughs> for all I know, she may not be in her right mind. Once the Black Ring's lies are swimming in your blood, you can't just squeeze them out. Levin not sagely and takes his leave. Hmm. Aha! The haft of the Sawnbreaker. I think now we can craft the whole thing. Which reminds me that we maybe should craft the Idol of Rebirth. You know. Glowing idol of rebirth. Right. Um, the Sawnbreaker a weapon? The Sawnbreaker. Didn't we find the blade already? And the schematic. That surprises me. I was very sure we found the schematic. Hmm. Someone else have that? Doesn't appear like that. Hmm, just left. But where the heck is the schematic? Why did we give that one to, um... How's our succubus friend calls again? To her. Let's have a look on the quest. Key to freedom. Search for the two pieces. Okay, so I guess we still have to find the other one here. So, I wonder where the other one is. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Thank you, Sibyl. 
Aha, Windigo, our friend. Once more. Oh, God, Woken. Such a pleasure. Did you miss me? Wait, don't answer that. Of course you did. Why is she talking to Sibyl now? My lord's given me another chance, such is his grace and wisdom. As for you, well, you're out of chances. How many have you had by now, I wonder? Two, three, a hundred? It must all be a blur for you. Look who's talking. Hmm. How are you still alive? Life after death is the privilege of the favoured, darling. And to gain his favour, all he asks is but one gift. Eternal servitude? She peers at you through narrow eyes. Her next words do not pass her lips, yet pierce your ears as if she'd spoken them. Your head! Yeah. Coming. Let me just quickly... Summon my wolfy friend. Rest. And here we go. Is it just you? Uh, might be that she's going to summon allies on her turn. So let's try to prevent that. Here we go. What is yours, Sibyl? Right, take us drawn. Hurts, doesn't it? And chicken time. No summoning for you. Uh, wished I could have done <sighs> rupture attendance, but no. Mm, here goes to be I don't think I need to pierce the magical armor. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Or maybe I need that. Ah, let's just skip. And here we go. Is, where's the second part of the Sawnbreaker? Hmm. And why did the Settle Man even possess one part of it? Hmm. Anything interesting around here? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Right, Sibyl? Yeah, apparently. So, Wendigo. Every time, every time, God woken. Why can't I just kill you? I'm sorry? It doesn't matter. He'll fetch me like he always has. He won't deny me his glory, his presence, his scent. Speak plainly. You must tell me of your lord's plans. Has he not simply told you by now? <laughs> Are you sure you're god woken? That head of yours is awfully empty for a wannabe divine. Shouldn't you be wise or something? And we didn't do that in the first playthrough, so we're going to do that now. And I mean, given that she killed all those people on the Magister's ship, not just Magister's, but also inmates, or the other times she tried to kill us, let's erase her. And Lavender consumes her source. This witch deserves no better. You muster as much energy as you can, yet mm. the spirit remains whole. She cackles at every gesture you make and every limb you contort in your futile efforts. She truly is favored. Interesting. <laughs> He'll take me back, and I'll come for you again and again and again. 
he'll be mine <laughs> yet. And then I'll be his only chosen, his blessed one. Yeah, yeah. Hush, he's come. He is here. Take me, Lord. I am yours. That's not a healthy relationship you have there. Hmm. Yeah, I guess no heft of the Stormbreaker. Hmm, curious. Apparently, you can walk through here. Eva. Have a look. At, ah, it's a door. Not even an illusion, just a normal door. Alright. I guess nothing more to see here. I'm not really sure if we have something else to uh, explore on the Nameless Isle. Uh, just to make extra sure, we're just going to go to the exit, have a look around on the map. And if we don't, I think we can actually go to the Lunar Temple, right? Now, since we know all the sun and moon symbols. And, well, we don't have any other factions still wanting to go after it. The Magisters are gone. The Black Ring people are gone. It's just us. The only people who can betray us are our companions. I think we explored all this bit here. Click, click, click. So yeah, that was the Nameless Isle, at least the outside part. But we can now explore inside. Oh, nice. Civil Slim once more. Okay, Human Pillar. That's a relic. And that was a sun. The Orc Pillar was a moon. Uh, no, it was the sun. Interesting that this, well, kind of triangle pointy thingy is supposed to be mo the moon. I guess because it's kind of crescent shaped, but not really. Um, the elves were of the moon, right? Right. The paper says yes. The imps had the moon as well, I think. Hmm. Music fades. The lizards, of course, had the sun. The dwarves had the moon. And the wizard, Amaria, had lost the moon. It feels like many moons, right? Moon, moon, moon. That's too many moons. One is wrong. The elves. Tisendelius has the moon. Oh no, we actually have four moons. That is correct. Alright. I'm just bad at remembering. So I think we need something, an eternal conductor to power this whole mechanism. Good thing we have quite a few face capacitators. Hmm. Which is, I guess, the thing which shocked the uh, very poor and very confused bunny. It's quick save. And. Here we go. I do wonder what happens if you pull it without the correct sequence. Because, I mean, in the end, it is seven things, but I mean, you just have like two options, so there aren't that many combinations, right? Oh well. Into. Well, I'm not gonna spoil how it's called. Into the Lunar Temple. The doors loom above you. One step closer to the council, one step closer to divinity. And as you can see, all our companions left us. He's going to stay. I hope everyone's going to stay. We became such good friends, people. The others must surely be thinking the same. After all, only one of you can ultimately ascend. Time for an honest discussion, perhaps. Yeah, concern. Let's start with Sibyl. We're finally here, on the doorstep of divinity. I'm quite sure she will join us. Merits a word, doesn't it? After all, 
Only one of us can become the new divine. But don't worry, I won't stand in your way. From Aww. the moment you came back for me on that ship, I knew you were special. You've proven it time and again. She kisses you on the cheek. Aww. You will be the new divine. I will remain myself. All I ever wanted, really. Oh, we don't even have to argue. That's very cute. That's very sweet. Thank you, Sibyl. Alright, Losa. So, I guess this is it. I mean, it would be very risky of Losa to even attempt to become divine herself with the demon, right? I can't see two ways about it. I need to be myself again. Finally. I can't risk getting shut out by this demon. It wants to keep me quiet. To rule in place of me. I uh, I need to make sure I'm strong enough that it can never seize control again. I won't let it make me silent in my own skin. Mm. I need to ascend. Oh no. That is interesting, cause I mean I never had to build with me. Um usually or I think like with all the companions we had in the first let's play, so um Losa, Ifan, and the Red Prince, you come to this thing here. So you have multiple persuasion options. You can also try to um, argue with them, like without persuasion. And you can even say, okay, here you go. Do you actually want to ascend? I mean, do you mean like... Well, for the moment right now? Ah, depends. It really depends on the person. The thing is, Lavender definitely wouldn't want Losa to ascend because of the demon. It's just very risky and probably wouldn't want Pain to ascend. You would completely trust Ethan with the powers? Not that sure about Beast. But yeah, so in the end I think Lavender would go for ascension right now. Okay, should we just go for the trust options or should we go for the persuasion options? Uh, let's try the trust ones. Hmm. Get for you from the moment I met you, wherever I go on that ship. You didn't. I didn't leave you then. And so I'm not going to leave you now, but you have to trust me to ascend. I know I can trust you. I know that better than anything else in the world. Uh -huh. Truth is, I think you'd make a spectacular divine. And I know you'll get this bloody demon out of me as soon as you can. Because I think, especially for Losa, like, the worst thing would be for Dramalek to get, like, a hand on divine power. So, yeah. She takes your hand holds it to her lips, and kisses your fingertips. She cradles her face in your palm for a moment, eyes closed, before letting your hand go. Let's do this. All right. To back in the team. So... Beast. Beast looks not at you, or even through you, but beyond you. Beyond the Academy, to a place far from you, but close to him. I have to say... B seems like a nice guy, but at least so far he seems kind of paired as a companion, right? I wouldn't even know right now if he wants to become divine and ascend or not. These seem like some, like some Roman star conversations. True, kinda. I know I talk a lot, but I don't talk about the Isle of Mists that much. No reason to, most of the time. Can't stop thinking of that time today, though. My crewmates and me, we can handle prison. We can handle death, even. But ain't no one should handle the aisle. You don't see the mist. You, you don't hear it. It's just there. In front of you, on top of you, and in you. What mist? Then the ripping starts. Your dreams ripped away. Your mm. thoughts. Your self. It's in you 
and it is you. Your body is meat, perfectly preserved. The mist keeps it safe. It's your soul that's boiled. But he's not talking about death fog, is he? I'm not looking to ascend because I want the power. I'm not doing any of this for me. I'm doing it so the rebels never need face the isle. So the mist will never be in them. So they can be truly free, fearless, themselves. Hmm. Fascinating that Seville's the only one who's just like, I trust you, I don't even want to ascend. As soon as I stop Operation Downfall, I rejoin them. As far as I'm concerned, that's where my divine duties begin and end. <sighs> hmm. We do have less options. Maybe we truly had another option with uh, Lois, which is kind of Roman C. Then again, we didn't ever engage in romantic uh, dialogue options for Blazer, right? Elemina reaches out and takes Beast's hand. Your loyalty to your people is inspiring, and it matches my loyalty to you. But now, I have to ask for yours in return. I will not let you down. Ah. But that, what does that mean? Does that mean we want to be- I would say that means that we want to ascend, right? I- I- Was that flirting? Whatever words he meant to come next go unspoken. The wide-eyed and tongue-tied dwarf can only nod and blush. He trusts uh. you. He will be at your side. Flirting to success. <laughs> oh well. Alright, Fane. Are you going to support us? The Academy. My academy. And there we have the true name of this place. Not Luna Temple or anything like that. But the Academy. The Academy of the Eternals. This place was home once. Now I'm not sure what home even means. But I know one thing. I may be the last of my line. But the hope for my people lives on through me. I must try to save them. Uh, and I mean... To let Fane ascend, there's a little bit of lack of empathy, right? And a little bit too much Eternals are superior to everyone. Too much dowry energy. I must ascend. It is the only way to guarantee that my race will never be snuffed out. Interesting. Also, for uh, Losa and for Fane, we can say we can excuse ourselves and say that we need some time. For Beast, we couldn't do that. I do understand. Your people are everything. But you must know that if I become divine, I will protect you, no matter what. I... I believe that you will. I trust you. Yay, even Pain trusts us. Curious. I was sure I would burst into flames if I ever uttered those words. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> Come, Godwoken. Let's claim your destiny. So far, pretty easy. <laughs> You're already kind of dead. I think your race is pretty much gone. Mm. I mean... We traveled around quite a lot and just met one other Eternal, and she was nice. Compared to her, Ethereum, I think was her name. Fane is really nice. Looks like we're at the end of the line. Yeah, Ethan's voice. Look, divinity is an immense responsibility. All that power, it corrupts. I mean, looking Lucian, very right, right? I saw what it did to Lucian. A soldier like me. I won't let that happen to anyone else. For their sake. And the sake of Rivalon. I must ascend. I want to get corrupted. I think 
So that's why we have two options. The first one, I guess, is kind of the Romans option. Because um, I think the lower one is just like general trust. And the top one, I think, the Roma Romans one. You know, just think about our time together. You know you can trust me to be the one who sends. You're... You're right. I can trust you. Every step of the way, you've been there for me. Aww. I really thought your Romans option wouldn't fight you on this. I thought that too the first time I played the game. I just knew it, of course, I mean, in my first let's play I also Romans Ifan, so um, I knew it was coming. But yeah, I kind of expected what happened with Sibyl to happen also with your Romans option in general. He nods once, decisively. I'll support you. Let's go. Onward's team. And it looks like a huge academy. Let's see, more eternal stuff to explore. <laughs>